And so we're back from outer space. I can't remember the rest of the words, so I'm gonna just continue with that look upon your face. <laughs> Welcome back to what is going to be, I'm sure, another absolutely banging season of Red vs. Blue. We're on to season 12. Apparently, from what I see on here, it's split into two parts. Because I was looking, I was like, huh, an hour and 20 minutes. I was like, that's on the shorter end of the seasons. And then I realized it was part one of, I'm going to assume two. So, hell yeah, fantastic. I don't know if they're all now split into two parts or not, or if it's just season 12. And I have no idea the reason behind it. But hey-ho, you know what it is? I'm not going to complain about a two-part season. It just means we get more. So, happy days for that. But yes, anyways, in the last episode, a lot of stuff went down. Most of our boys... Not Wash, not Sarge, and I believe, was it some, did somebody else get taken as well, or was it just, no, no, it was just Sarge and um, Wash. They got taken, so our boys kind of became the de facto leaders of a group, which I can tell is a good thing, I'm fairly certain, I mean, they're all definitely divided in, the, in you know, what they want and what they want to do, but... So I can't really tell if they're, they're going to work together or not very well. And especially leading a group is not in their forte. And even when it came to the Reds and the Blues, it was Sarge leading the Reds. And then basically Church leading the Blues, who are both now gone. Which leads me to the very end of it, which I got confused about. Apparently, um, it wasn't Carolina that was speaking to... I forgot his name. The 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 green and black armored dude. I I... I for the life of me figure out his name but um it wasn't carolina speaking to him she was just apparently just listening to the conversation so i got super confused to that but i thought she was just going against our boys for some bizarre reason or at least trying to get them kidnapped into a certain place again for a reason but no turns out uh, she was just listening in the whole thing and the voice apparently just sounded eerily similar so uh yeah just confused about that but it doesn't matter because we're about to see what's going to happen anyways. I hope you guys are excited for season 12. Because you goddamn know I am. Yeah. Let's begin. And you guys are welcome by the way. For my angelic pipes at the beginning there. Honestly. Wasted talent. Was I should have been on X Factor. I, I, I should be up there with the greats. I was going to try and list off a bunch of greats. And I just, my mind went blank. Let's continue. Red team. This is blue team. We are in position. How copy? Over. Blue team. This is red team. I copy. Blue in position. Jedward. There we go. Roll team, this is blue team. All units are in position and awaiting further instructions. What is your status? Over. Gold team, two, three. This is blue team, one, two. Radio check. Over. Uh, yeah, we're here, blue team. Gold team, I repeat. What is your status? Over. Uh, we're, we're pretty good. We're fucked. Nope, nope. What? Actually, uh, we were wondering if we could maybe change our name to... Orange team. What difference does it make? You tell them it makes a big difference, bitters, because I am orange. I am not good. Hey, the animation's orange. back. Hell yeah. Orange. Griff, get off the radio. The teams are fine. The teams suck. You're gonna blow our cover. Ugh. All right, we'll be gold. Go tell the blue team to suck a dick and then get in position. <laughs> Whatever you say, Captain. I like how they immediately went into showing the fact that the animation is back. Because obviously it wasn't in the last season. Which again was fine. But, you know, I, I do like having it. It makes the fight scenes just on, on a whole other level. Whole other level. We're infiltrating an enemy base and you're bitching about colors. It's a misleading title. People can get confused. Oh, shut up. Nah, he's right. I'm confused. Caboose, you're always confused. Well, that's, that's confusing. <sighs> okay, doors open. I'm confused about being confused. Help me. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, what if this doesn't work? Probably won't. What if it's a trap? Probably is. Probably. Uh, what would Sarge say in a time like this? Shut it, Simmons. Probably, yeah. Uh, here we go. Is that password one, two, three? Hey, wait, wait. No. Dude. I don't know if it's about to show you, but that is mightily impressive. He just went in there and blasted Caboose with his gun. Like, blasted the name Caboose with his bullets. That's... What can't this guy do? He's an actual genius. 
He breaks the, the record in the little obstacle course thing that they do. He's constantly saying really smart things just out of the blue. And he's in apparently incredibly proficient with a freaking machine gun. Oh, so I talk on the radio when it's jeopardizing the mission. But that happens and everything's fine? Shush, Griff. They might hear you. Doors <laughs> opening. <Yeah. laughs> the silence is so perfect. <laughs> Captain Griff. We have a visual on the main compound. Over. What's it look like? Well, on a scale from 1 to 10, say we're pretty fucked. Mm. Stow that kind of talk, Fitters. RCOs put a lot of thought into this plan, so why don't you show a little faith? Right, Captain Caboose? Yes. All right, we're almost there. Is everyone ready? Ready. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that as well. I was about to say it would be so perfect if they just continue, but Caboose is just like further along, and obviously you don't see him. Uh great minds think like. Something to say to you. Uh, yes, Jensen. I just wanted to say that no matter what happens, it's been an honor working with you, sir. Don't say that. You sound like you're uh, we're gonna die. Lieutenant, that is yes, that's. <clears throat> Can't speak to women. Over. What the fuck was that? Stroke out for a second? You sounded like Caboose. Uh, but he's me, can I be him? Shut up. <laughs> Look at me, I'm smart. I like slide rules and protractors. Oh, I can't wait to go do some protracting. <laughs> you still have problems talking to girls. Big deal. Yeah, it is. Especially when your squad consists entirely of girls. Now, man, oh, God, you got the whole female squad. What? Why do I have to play in the women's league? I want to be a mathlete, Dad, a mathlete. Yeah, okay, I don't want to be sympathetic. Yeah, that's some repressed <laughs> feelings coming up there. Yeah, you made a little bit of noise coming in. You had the element of surprise. How do you fail that? Oh, so it's just a training exercise. <laughs> what is the point of these training exercises if you okay. people aren't going to work together? But we did. We had team names and everything. Griff was gold. Orange. You had a plan. You were organized. But once again, you crumbled under pressure. <sighs> Lieutenants, debrief with your COs. Everyone else, round up all training weapons and uniforms. That's enough. Capture the flag for today. Whoa, and what the hell are we supposed to say? Hey guys, sorry you still suck. Turns out we suck too. At least we have something in common. Yeah, pretty Tell much. What they need to hear. It's camaraderie for you right there. This, and that next time, they will be better. So you want us to lie to them? No. I don't. You... Wanted to talk to us, Serge? <sighs> well <sighs> done. You did a great hey, job, fellas. You think I could have a turn with that sniper rifle? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, sometimes I uh, like to take my hands and uh, cup them around my eyes. Like little hand binoculars. Shut the fuck up, Palomo. God, no. Oh, no. There's going to be so many more names I'm going to have to remember now. It took me long enough to remember every all, all the blues and reds. And then we got all the freelancers that I had to try and remember those, and even though the the names of the states, I still kept forgetting them. I blame not being American for that. It doesn't look good, guys. They really beat. And then we've got Felix. Why? What's going on? Well, it could be that someone from up top is coming to visit, or it could be a response to the weapons I stole from this place a few weeks ago. Mm. Gee, could I be that one. one it is. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious it's the weapons. Stop talking. We're gonna have to go with Plan B. Wait, what do you mean? What's plan B? We plant C4, we leave, and we blow this outpost to hell. What? It's a standard hit and run. I've done it a million times. We'll be fine. Ironic that plan B involves C4. So sorry, that was that was the worst uh, joke I've ever don't. told. We'll not be fine. <laughs> I thought you said we came here to gather intelligence. That's gonna be pretty fucking difficult when their computer system is in about.
about 40,000 pieces. Okay, I get that you want to save your friends. I do, really. But data retrieval is no longer an option. Once we find out where they're holding Wash and the others, the New Republic will do everything they can to save them. But today isn't that day. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Now, we've only got one active camo unit. Tucker, that's going to you. It's a little damaged, so try not to run it constantly. Only when you need to disappear. Got it. As for the rest of you, that's up to your captain. Oh, right! I like how he's still the only one to actually use that weapon. Nobody else has allowed it. Ah, uh, here's the problem. The rats must have chewed through the wire. That is a military-grade reinforced power cable. What kind of rats are you talking about? Like, Space rats? the super rats that you used to get on Joker. You know the movie. Perfect. Now you look just like the rest of those assholes. That was stupidly fortunate. What do you mean? I mean, what if we had ended up with two really fat bad guys? What size are you, Cunningham? Like a medium? Use extra large, sir. See? Whole plan. Whole plan would have been ruined. Y you think just because you watch something on TV that it's a good idea? Hey, look, dude, know? it worked. Also, All right. Really, man? Use extra large? It's very slimming, sir. Hey, uh, what about me? Do uh, I get this, guys? No. Palomo, you're guarding our escape route. Oh. Okay. It's because I don't trust you. Got it. Honestly, if you were out in the field, you'd probably get all of us killed. I can totally see that. 100%. Yeah, yeah that'd be me. Alright. That's- he's like the caboose of this work. group. He's purely incompetent. Just play cool. Except he's not a secret genius like Caboose is. gonna work. I mean, I know the reds and blues are supposed to be war heroes, but... They all seem kind of dumb. Dude, I'm invisible, not deaf. Oh. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Okie dokie, boys. Everyone take your modified sticky detonators, find something that looks expensive, and strap a bomb to it. As soon as you're done, head back to the cave. You sure you'll be okay in your armor out there, sir? <laughs> Don't you worry about me, kid. Freeze! My god, that was a good shot. Holy fuck. I am fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Totally. He's not gonna go upstairs and try to... I said don't move! Turning is moving! Alright, I want like, a hard drive or something. With base locations. And classified shit. And any info you've got on Agent Washington and the other guys you kidnapped a while back. Okay, just take it easy. Captain, we're almost done. Where are you? I'm in the lab. Give me a second. You're what? Chill out, dude. I got this. Are you fucking kidding me? I specifically told you not to... Thank you, mute button. Alright. Mm -hmm. Files are copying over to a flash drive. Sweet. Ha <laughs> <laughs> look who's dumb now. Hey, I surrender. No, sir, it's, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> look who's dumb now. Hey, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. He, he coerced me into doing it. I swear to god. I just want to see my mom again. Please don't kill me. I have three kids and a dog. <laughs> you turned off your radio. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry. I was kind of in the middle of something. Well, we gotta go. Like, now. Right. Absolutely. Just one more minute. Sir, but I think the feds are on to us. Okay, okay, we can go... No. Now. Oh, shit. Yes, oh, shit, indeed. Uh, everything okay? Jason? M man, what's going on? Uh, Jason! Uh, Cunningham isn't responding. We've been infiltrated. Sound the alarm. Oh my god. He's not the guy I want to get on the wrong side of. of god damn it! Then. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you got Jason. Kill! Searching for and disarming the bombs. Oh, man. Hey, you. Stop. Uh, 
Pew. You're a specialist, right? Come on, man. We need your help. Oh. Great. Yeah, I've been specially trained to run away. Jesus, dude, are you okay? What happened? Just ran you I through with my fight. sword. Like God damn. Right? Here. Oh. You can disarm this, right? I, uh... No, I... What, what do you mean, no? This is your job! Right, no, I I know. Uh... I know. Intruder! <laughs> your improv skills need a little bit of, uh, finessing there, sir. <laughs> right. Talk to me, people. Where's Rogers? Not here, Cunningham. Locust got him. Locus is here? Run! Yeah, he's here. What about Rogers? Get down! No, wait! No. Son of a Rogers, no! Huge explosion. You wouldn't believe it. He just shook it off, though, like it was nothing, and he comes right at us. <sighs> Cuts our rocket launcher in half, so Tucker goes in for a stab, but nothing's working. That's when I knew what to do. Uh, of course. I throw myself on top of him, taking him completely by surprise. But he has a strength of ten men. No, ten bears. Oh. What is he, the fucking Prince Ali? Invincible. It looked like nothing was gonna stop him. What did you do? Huh? Oh, uh, we tied a car to him and threw it off a cliff. That is the most metal thing I've ever heard. So the moral I wonder if the meta's still alive. You never know when random, seemingly unimportant stuff will turn out to be very important, which is why you shouldn't question me when I tell you to build me something like a hammock or a human slingshot. Griff, what are you doing? Just telling these guys how we took down the meta. Why? Is it true, Simmons? Did he really growl like some sort of monster? And did he really have the strength of ten bears? Uh, I, uh, um, <clears throat> more like, mm. uh, you know, twenty bears. Wow. So hard. So that hot. Why. You're spending way too much time with Tucker. <laughs> Rick Simmons and Caboose, report to my office immediately. In all fairness, it's probably been a little while for them. Run along. with the bears. Caboose, what the fuck? <laughs> you're part of us, man. If you hug me, I will shoot you. Oh, it's okay, Tucker. I, I know you're more into groping. Come on, let's grow. When did you get back? A little while ago. What happened? Oh, so I'll tell I just pictured happened. that in my head. It was Captain fucking Tucker weird Tucker shit. Decided to disobey orders and took it upon himself to recover a hard drive full of Federal Army secrets. A decision that only cost him the lives of two of his men. That's a pretty damn good trade, if I do say so myself. What? <laughs> Man, you should have seen this guy. He was all, I don't play by the rules. Fucking James Bond and shit all over the place. It was crazy. Wait, I thought you were pissed. Oh, do not get me wrong. I wanted to beat your worthless skull into the ground until it was paced. But look where we are now. You took a risk, and it paid off. Paid off? Dude, two of our guys Yeah, I was going to say, again, paid off. But two people are fucking dead, dude. Come on, show a bit of sympathy. I, I don't know if this is what... A certain somebody in the comments mentioned last time when, like I said, someone said one was a soldier, the other one was a fucking maniac. And I was like, but which one's which? Because obviously at the time, I didn't know either character. And someone was like, yeah, that's, that's the question, dude. That's what you need to be asking yourself. And I don't know if this is sort of starting to get, like, to understand that. The fact that, uh, you know, Tucker clearly sac well, he, not that he didn't mean to, obviously, but he basically sacrificed one guy to get this information and then they blew up the C4, knowing full well another one of their men were there. Uh, and he clearly doesn't give a flying fuck, because it's, you know, for the better of the cause or whatever shit he, he wants to start peddling. Yeah. And two more will probably die tomorrow. Seriously, what don't you people get about that? That's enough, Felix. <clears throat> mm -mm. Just saying. Tucker, your choice costs two men their lives. But it also granted us access to valuable information. Whether or not this was the right thing to do is a conclusion you'll have to come to on your own. I'll leave it at that. Right now, the six of us need to have a talk. Could it not be as depressing as the talk we're having right now? I know where your friends are. You Yay! do? What? I have friends! Whoa, when did this happen? I kept digging through the files Tucker brought back. There wasn't much to go off of, but eventually I found them. And from the looks of it, they've been moved around a bit. Finally, we can rescue Sarge and everything will go back to normal. 
Isn't that great, Griff? Great is a strong word, Simmons. Not have gone with tolerable. Don't celebrate just yet. Very As tolerable. Said, he loves them really. Regularly. And from the looks of things, it isn't going to stop. Right now, they're held up in a compound just north of a nearby mountain range. But in about a week, it sounds like they'll be transferred to the capital. A place that is very, very out of our reach. So then we go get them now? Is that... That's the thing we can do, right? The compound she's talking about is twice the size of the one Tucker and I raided. That Breaking damn. in would be suicide. Breaking someone out would be like suicide and a bunch of puppies. Like died. finding a needle in a haystack of needles. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. Are the puppies okay? Kimball, please Very talk difficult. some sense into these guys. Yes, I'm sorry. Can we get back to the puppies? When I first heard about you four, I envisioned strong, daring, respectable soldiers. You, th you thought wrong. <laughs> But now that I've come to know you, I've found that you're something else entirely. It turns out you're all a bunch of cowards, losers, idiots, space men, misfits. You're oddballs that don't exactly fit in, which is why my men all look up to you and why morale has been at an all time high because they can relate to you. Because together we're an army of underdogs and outcasts. To be fair with you, say what you want about the guys, they're all lovable. There's not a single character that I hate out of any of these. Some that I like more than others, everybody knows I have the soft spot for Caboose, but... Uh, yeah, there's, there's not a character in this show that I hate. But as of right now, I cannot authorize a rescue mission of this scale. Interestingly enough, you work well when you fight together. But, individually, you still haven't shown what it takes to lead others. Which is why I'm giving you five days. Five days to assemble a smaller team. One comprised of the best of each of your platoons. And if you can convince me that you're ready by the end of those five days, then you will have my support. Oh, okay. hell yeah. That's not really a lot of time. Well, it's all you've got. Yeah, um, if this is really happening, I'd like to be paid in advance. Five days. Five Understandable. Days. My naps take longer than five days. Yeah, yeah, President says Monday, so we can't expect people to come in on a holiday because that would be time and a half. And, oh my god, that would be five and a half days. Take my advice, gentlemen. Live to fight another day. I think I liked you better when you Jesus thought we were Christ. super soldiers. Hey, what's up with that? This is a plasma rifle. Part of my cut from the hit and run. Your cut? Do you think these guys have any money lying around? Yeah, right. They pay me in old alien tech. The whole reason course was chosen for colonization was because it showed promising signs of extraterrestrial artifacts. Turns out the UNSC was right. Too bad they abandoned the place. But hey, their loss is my very shiny, very valuable gain. Wait, why steal weapons and ammo when we could just use this space laser shit? Because they don't work, genius. They're busted. But I'm willing to bet that someone out there would be happy to pay a very large sum of money for these babies. Uh, yeah, wait, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are, 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 they, are they babies or are they lasers? Both. Uh, laser babies. Baby lasers. Well, talking business, if you guys are serious about rescuing your friends by the end of the week, I could always be persuaded to increase my level of assistance. For a one-time fee, of course. Maybe something along the lines of an alien energy sword? Hmm? Any takers? I don't think Tucker's gonna there? let that go. Mm, I don't think so. Over his dead body. So much, how come you still charge him for your help? Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Well, that's gonna be bad for your eyes. I'm just saying, you could always help us out for free. You know, mix it up a little. Ah, mm, okay, so you want me to help you rescue your friends because... What? It's the right thing to do? No, just because. Yeah, it's not being a dick. <laughs> you know, if I recall, the first time these people ever asked you for help, you turned them down. Figured this whole civil war thing wasn't your problem. <laughs> In fact, I bet if your friends had never been captured, you'd still refuse to lend them a hand. Even if it was the right thing to do. Everyone has their price. I learned that a long time ago. And you're no exception. I mean, he said it in a complete dicky kind of way, but he's not exactly wrong. Let's face it. Especially Griff. I, th I feel like Griff would just like, not lift a finger to help anybody. Is, you know, helpful and as nice and as, as heroic as he can be at times, I guess. Uh, you know, he he'll take a nap over anything else. And I can't blame him. I've been napping so much lately. It's actually disgusting. I just think that if you would just reconsider, sir. Uh, I mean... Uh... 
followed your order from day one with, like, the burritos, and, and I'd follow you to the end, sir. Really, I would. Bitters, what do I always say? Nobody likes a kiss ass. Nobody likes a kiss ass. But, sir, Matthews, you are, in fact, a total kiss ass. He is, in Everybody fact, likes that. a total kiss ass. Bitters, do you like that? Nope. Bitters doesn't like that. Because Bitters here is a maverick, a loose cannon, and people love loose cannons. I'm a bit of a loose cannon myself. Isn't that right, Bitters? Actually, I'm starting to think you're just kind of lazy. Oh, he's got him. Total loose cannon respect. <laughs> I respect that, Bitters. <sighs> Whatever. So, as much as it pains me inside, I'm afraid I must deny your request to join our elite team, Matthews. <sighs> Very well, sir. No. Oh. I understand. Poor Matthews. He could have held the bags. Still a kiss ass. Griff, hurry up! Speaking of which. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, is that girl with the list, but she's still here? Um, hi, I, my name is Michael J. Caboose. Hi, hi Michael. Michael. No, I meant the recruits. Why would we? Guy's such an idiot. They already know us. Yes, but do they know the real us? What does that even mean? Well, that's a very interesting question, Tucker. Why don't you elaborate on those feelings? Oh, just state your name. She's a therapist as well. Really? <clears throat> Permission to speak, sir. Uh, go for it. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant John... Hey, G.I. Joe, could you drop the act? We don't have all day. Oh, uh, very good, sir. My friends call me Smith. I've served the New Republic faithfully for several years, and I believe Captain Caboose is one of the wisest individuals I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Sir. Great, another kiss-ass. You mean our Caboose? Yes, sir. This one right here. Correct. The blue one. Okay, moving on. Next! Hello everyone, I'm Katie Jensen. Hey, there she is! Vehicle maintenance, biology, uh... uh, uh, uh swallowed her retainer! God, uh, God, she's gonna die! <laughs> Sorry, choked on my own spit. No, oh, no, never mind. Simmons, it's even worse. It was either her or the really hot one that plays volleyball. Then what the fuck is this? <laughs> she makes me less nervous, okay? Just leave me alone! Next! I'm bitters. My fun fact is I don't have a fun fact. Mm. Total maverick. And last but not least, uh, Private Palomo, slayer of women, wooer of evil. Wait, is that your fun fact? Oh, uh, oh, I'm the only surviving member of Green Team. Suck on that. I fucking hate you, Palomo. <laughs> all right, as you've all been informed, <laughs> I can love you, you Palomo. <laughs> sole purpose of rescuing the remaining survivors of a UNSC shipwreck from several months back. We all know them as Donut, Agent Washington, and Sarge. And maybe oh, donut. a robot named Lopez. Donut got killed. And up. maybe an adorable robot named Freckles. Yeah, yeah, we get it. The point is, we've only got five days to train you guys, so we're getting started right now. Any questions? Who is leading this team? I am. Uh, what? Well, I'm obviously the one who should be leading us. I'm the most logical of the group. Bullshit. I'm the one who set up this entire meeting. Yeah, and this meeting blows dicks. Wait, why do you want to be the leader? Well, I'm really starting to get used to all this praise and pampering, and I don't want to risk losing it all to one of you jerks. I can always praise and pamper you, sir. God damn it, Matthews. What did we just talk about? Get the well, fuck out of here. Way to tell it. <clears throat> raise your hand if you are the leader of a team any time before joining this army. Oh, whatever. That was a fluke. Yep, and I forgot to raise my hand. Hey, if you're looking for experience, so far I'm the only one who's been uh, on an actual mission. God damn it. <laughs> Two people died. <laughs> Excuse me, sirs. We could always vote. Suppose you could vote. My fellow soldiers, if you elect me as your leader, you're not just voting for a kind, well-mannered leader, you're voting for victory. I've overseen countless skirmishes and calculated my opponents every This is not a democracy. Although some people may not count Dungeons and Dragons Only caboose. as an acceptable example of military expertise, I beg to differ. A vote for Dick Simmons is a vote for America. But we're not in America. Fuck. And I will put good aid in all the water fountains. And we won't have to wear uniforms anymore. And Principal Kimball will allow us double recess, recess, recess. Caboose, you're Caboose. running for class president. No, don't you see? We won't need uniforms anymore because the war will finally be over. Kimball will send us out. It's a fucking the genius. We'll never have to raise another gun ever again. Why? Oh, God, he has such a way with words. He's a fucking god. For real? Wait, but what about the Kool-Aid in the water fountain? 
Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> he ain't wrong. It does sound pretty fucking awesome. Dibs. What? I call dibs on the team. Dibs. You can't call dibs on the team. You sure? Griff. All right, whatever. I don't like leader anyway. <laughs> Sup, guys? Tucker here. Uh, speech. Speech. <laughs> that just give me the, the biggest... I think it's such an, an odd reference, but... Uh, <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender, when Zuko, like, turns good and he wants to try and train Aang, and he's trying to figure out and talk himself up as to how he's gonna, like, you know, go and see the gang and, and talk to them for the first time after, you know, hunting down the Avatar for the past, like, year. He, he, he pretty much opens with that exact same line. He's like, hey, Zuko here. <laughs> it just reminded me so much of it. Same vibe. I've always said I'm a lover and not a fighter. Look at you, Jensen. Me? Yeah. Tell your volleyball friend I said that. Anyways, please, God, tell me you guys haven't been standing around talking all morning. Nope. Been trading my ass off, boy. Okay, look, you want the truth? I don't want to be your leader. Being a leader totally sucks. It's hard work and you have to put up with people you hate. But I want to get my friends back. And seeing as that's our mission, I will deal with whatever bullshit I have to do to make it happen. And if I was holding a mic, this would be the part where I drop it. I vote for Tucker. Yeah, I vote for Tucker. Me too. Yeah. In all fairness, he is the most competent one. <laughs> you got the job that you hate. Yeah, great. Yay, happy for you. So, did you guys want to start training at some point? Or, sorry, would you prefer to keep dicking around? Because by all means, I could watch this train wreck all day. Really, it's it's like the Hindenburg footage. You, you ever see that? Just absolutely breathtaking. Until you realize everyone's screwed. I was going to say, again, dark, dude. Very dark. Eureka! Is it working? Hello! Can you hear me? Yes! Jesus! What's the point of this again? This is going to make you all better fighters. Tell him, Simmons. Jensen and I have installed capture software into all of our helmets, allowing us to transmit what we see on the battlefield to a local server. Wait, do they only record on the battlefield, or are they recording all the time? All the time, duh. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, it's fine. But what if it records me doing something embarrassing, like looking at Jensen's butt or something? Excuse me? Just don't look at Jensen's butt, Palomo. Well, now I'm way more aware of her butt. <laughs> throwing me off. Palomo? You know what? I'm just going to look at the ceiling. I still don't see how this is supposed to make us any better. It's like this. Wise choice. You're with the lady, right? And she wants to spice things up, so you're like, boom, video camera. And she's into it, and then you're like, oh, yeah. But then what's even better is that later you can go back and look at those tapes and figure out what was really working and what you can do better. So it's like football coaches reviewing clips of past games. Sure. I mean, if you're into football coaches and that works better or for you. Or prizes. No judgments. All right, we're good to go. You set up the but who am I to judge? I told someone else to set up the training weapons. You'd make a great manager. I've said it for years. Sorry, I meant terrible. <laughs> You'd make a terrible manager. Whatever. You say tomato, I order a subordinate to say tomato. Okay, so our mission today will be to disarm an That's how it's done, boys. <laughs> take out one guy. That's doable. The soldier is Felix. Uh, what? If we can take out the best fighter in the New Republic, I'd say we stand a pretty good chance against any of those feds. Yeah, I don't agree to this. You don't have to. Just do what you'd normally do. But know that you'll have a giant bullseye painted across your back. All right, fine. Bring it on, tough guy. I will. And when we capture you, you're going to tell Kimball that we're approved for the mission. Fine. Good. Great. So are you just going to stand there or what? No, I was sticking my tongue out at you. But I, I guess I'm wearing a helmet, so... Shut up. Not your smartest guy. Me got this. Thanks for joining us, everyone. But that will be in the next episode. Alrighty then. So in this episode, we have found out that uh well, we found where they're all being kept, uh, Sarge, Wash, and Doc. I knew there was another one that got taken, and I couldn't think of who it was, whether it was Doc or whether it was um Donut. Couldn't for the life of me remember. But yeah, we, we found out that they, well, they never technically told us, but they know where they're being kept. They now have five days of solid training, but let's face it, we're, we're talking about the guys here. Although, in all fairness, Simmons did give a pretty inspirational speech as to, you know, the fact that he doesn't like being a leader. He hates it, in fact, but he wants to save his friend, so he's going to get it done regardless, and that's going to be that. Which is, like, I think the most inspirational type thing I've ever seen from from Simmons and like I said he is the most competent one but I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know how they're gonna get them back considering 
just infiltrating, and it wasn't even infiltrating really, they were just trying to find exp expensive stuff and blowing it up. That ended up with Tucker losing two men. Granted it was because he was trying to get the information and he kind of stuck around way longer than he should have and he knew he was sticking around longer than he should have. But um, yeah, so I don't really know how a bigger base with more enemies is going to go well with them. It sounds like it's going to be a huge disaster, but you never know. Five days is enough to make somebody semi-competent at something, I guess. <laughs> um, and also, yeah, I, I don't really trust Felix. I don't like the way he was going on. The fact that, you know, he was like, yeah, two men. You got two men killed. But you know what it is? That's fucking fine. Because we got the information and you did a good job. And just really didn't care about the fact that two people got killed. So... I, I really don't know how I feel about him right now. And I feel like as the show goes on more, I'm going to learn more about him. And I, I don't think he's going to be this nice person that he's sort of being made out to be. I know he's not technically a nice person, but, you know, I mean, he's like a gun for hire, essentially. So, but I feel like he's just going to be a lot worse than what we're thinking he is. But yes, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. It does help massively and I do massively appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.